and we are at the castle with the newly appointed queen, <laughs> Princess Rebecca. The throne is too big for you, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I hope so. We'll do our, our best to make that happen. So yes, Ariel made it back to the castle and proclaimed her intention to the queen, but that she was going on a mission. Exactly. So Rebecca's sitting on the throne for now, which looks like uh, the seat I had on an airplane, which seemed to be made for people twice as tall and twice as wide as I was. Yeah. Everyone is happy. <laughs> or something. Well, of course, it's a castle. I wonder who this statue is of. But let's just get out of here. Oh, great. So some people from Talindra did survive. That is good to hear. Yeah, they borrowed Ariel, <laughs> but they did kidnap her. Um, so yeah, when they said the there was no one else left from the resistance, uh, I hoped that was not completely true. I'm glad to hear that there are some survivors. That's what you call being expeditive. Okay, liberate Talindra. I'll be happy to do that if we can. I still know the way to Talindra. Not quite the way around it because I never did. But I can get there. I don't 
think there's anything of use in here, is there? Well, there's a big music. And by big I mean both both loud and resounding and important sounding. Like a circus is coming to town maybe. <laughs> Some Okay, there we go. She was not the one who was selling the magic trinket, which didn't really help that much. Yes, but we have to go to Talindra first. That's the last thing to do, right? That you just said it, so we're not doing it right now. Killed and tortured. In which order? No need to answer that, sorry. For defiance, where we can pet this dog. Yeah, I really like that doggy. Road to Talindra. Now, let's enter the world map. We are going to Talindra, but we can go the fast way. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> like Rowan said. It's not like we've done really anything, and it's sort of saving anyway. <laughs> and now we know that one of them uses magic. Reina does. The side areas, okay. She's already doing most of the work anyway. Okay, let's start with this one.
Ah, this will do it. I feel like any team would have done the trick. The poison even didn't even get the chance to act. Mm. Oh, hi, Ninja Squirrel! And hi, James! Nice to see you here! How are you? We are attacking Arcadian soldiers who have invaded the temple of Talindra. Okay, okay. And not melting their faces. Good point. And not killing them either. <laughs> uh, I have dressed up for costume parties a few times in my life. I think one was around this time of the year uh, when I dressed as a Pokemon trainer. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. Seriously? And I had decided not to poison you! Here, have some cannonballs. Woo! Did you see that critical on all of them? James says, I always have so much fun dressing up and getting in character, but it can be hard to find appropriate times and places to do so. People wearing lab stuff in public already get weird looks. <laughs> uh, 
there's no need to be too strategic when fighting low-level soldiers and trying not to kill them. And Tapewolf says, I did costume as Zerian earlier, but that was to use up the rest of the reel of film, not because of Halloween. Well, happy coincidence? James says, you could say was a real good excuse, yeah. 